Dolls, dolls everywhere. But these are not just ordinary dolls. Adults take pride in collecting them, and children who see displays like this learn the importance of diversity. It's educational. It's not just childhood memories and and entertainment. It's so they can relate and so they can find out things. The first African American Barbie doll made its debut in 1967, close to one decade after the release of the original Barbie. It is who we are. And for a long time, dolls did not represent us well. They were dolls of people who worked in the kitchen or worked in the fields, but they didn't represent us as people who have all kinds of abilities. Whether it's dolls of well-known public figures or everyday scenes of African American life, the Black Doll Show at the Dudley Branch Library had something for everyone. It's a joy for a child to pick a doll up and to hold a doll and to care for something. They do have a genuine love. For dolls and for anything that resembles a baby, dolls these days not only embody diversity but also bring comfort and unconditional love. My grandmother gave them to me, and it's special to me because every night, like when I have bad dreams and things, I just get up in my room and hold them. And most importantly, it's one of the best ways to foster creativity and imagination. They're not really real, but they're cool. Because you can pretend like they're real. They, they see, you know, houses that some place that they'd like to live, or you know, they imagine where they could be,、um, or it reminds them of their childhood. The best doll is the one with the smile. As long as smiles like this can bring happiness and joy to whoever holds it, then it's done its job. For Neighborhood Network News, I'm Yujin Cho.